This video is about uh, O-ringing or installing the copper O-rings uh, for clients that have purchased the option from us uh, on their sleeve blocks. You're going to need a set of really nice sharp flush cuts, some copper wire. We do provide you with uh, enough copper wire uh, to do the job. Uh, a nice rubber mallet. Uh, this is a small Matco uh, with replaceable tips, Teflon. Uh, works great, been using it for about 20 years. Um, and then, you know, a small, soft uh, piece of material. I polish the end up every so often uh, to join the ends together. You can also use a socket if you're really gentle. Uh, anyway, what we do uh, is uh, I prefer to keep the split uh, or the seam on the intake side of the block. Obviously, this would be the intake side of this particular block. Um, you know, through testing in the past uh, uh, with uh, film, uh, pressure film, we have determined that uh, putting the the uh, the seam at the stud versus anywhere in this range uh, is negligible. Uh, you know, the clamp force around the chamber uh, of the sleeve and the O-ring. Uh, is uh, more than adequate. We do not see any areas where it's a little bit uh, uh, you know, more clamping force on the chamber in this area or this area or, or in, in here respectively. Um, at least not on our uh, step deck sleeve blocks. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and begin. Uh, regardless, we'll go ahead and start here uh, at this particular stud. Um, we'll go ahead and stick the wire in, get it started. Just lightly tap, keep the wire close to the groove, and it'll just continue to go right on in. Once you get to the seam, now we're going to take our flush cuts. We'll come down really close and the flush cut side you know is going to be on this side prior to doing this I've cut the uh, the wire nice and flush on the opposite side so we'll come down here make sure that we are really close sometimes you need to adjust it you can push down a little bit see where you're at see how much overlap you have uh, make a little trim if you need to And we can go ahead and do the final installation. Take this little guy here. And we end up with a seamless O-ring groove. Another suggestion, uh, when, uh, when you guys do your rebuilds, you gotta pull the head gasket. Uh, Any time that the head has to come off the engine, um, you know, you have got to remove the O-ring uh, out of the groove, put new stuff in it. Um, you know, you'll use a, a very sharp, you know, tiny little screwdriver we have modified to do this, some picks. Uh, you will pick the groove up a little bit and get a little bit of burrs there. It's very, very difficult not to do that. Um, you know, it's not a big deal. You can take a little bit of a, a stone. Uh, not a filing, but a you know a sharpening stone, a little piece of that, and just kind of debar it, and you'll be good to go. Uh, again, uh, you know if you need more copper wire, we sell we sell the spools, uh, and we also sell little packets of wire enough to do the job. Um, that'll be the uh, the end of this video for today.